Welcome. Today's my sharing topic is intraday volatility, volume, joint modeling, and forecasting using a state-based approach. First, what is intraday volatility? Volatility measures the price fluctuation. And intraday volatility measures these fluctuations within each trading day. Mathematically, it is defined as the standard deviations of the historical return over a time period. For example, every 15 minutes. Below, I show you the screenshot of Yahoo Finance. In the upper bound, it showed you the price change. And in the lower section, it shows you the volatility change. So as you can see, when the price fluctuates more than the volatility raise. Why modeling intraday volatility is so important? The first reason is that it provides insight into the market trends. For example, in technical analysis, people believe that high intraday volatility, along with increasing trading volume, might be a sign of strain. This being the case, investor can base on this signature to buy in stocks. To believe that the upward momentum will continue. And the second reason is that it facilitates risk management. By measuring the levels of price fluctuations, traders and investors can estimate the potential loss that might occur and develop effective risk management strategy to mitigate this loss. As we all know, the higher intraday volatility means we are more exposed, exposure to potential loss. The third reason is that it helps in pricing. Accurate pricing of options and futures require accurate estimates of intraday volatility. To better model intraday volatility, we need to understand its features. The first feature is that it exhibits a U-shaped seasonal pattern, which means that the, during the opening and closing periods of the trading days, the volatility tends to be higher. The second feature is that it exhibits a higher correlation with intraday volume. This can be understood by when there is a new trading information or new release. It can lead to changes in market sentiment and therefore lead to both higher volume here and also increased volatility. With these features, we propose our financial model for intraday volatility. Here, our multiplicative component framework decomposes volatility into several components. The daily components describe the daily volatility change. The intraday periodic components is in fact the U-shaped pattern. And also it includes the information flow component and unexpected component. While we do the same decomposition for intraday volume, except this unexpected one. What does this information flow component and unexpected component means? They correspond to good and bad volatilities. Good volatility means these volatilities are accompanied by sufficiently high volume. While bad volatility means it is less relevant to trading volume and is hard to predict. Next step with our multiplicative component framework, we want to propose a state-based formulation. How we do it is to take the log transformations, as you can see here. By taking the log transformations, we reformulate this multiplicative model into an addictive one. However, doing this log transformation is not only trying to formulate it into addictive form, but it has another reason. That is, we want to deal with the heavy tail distributions. 
In the left hand side, we show the QQ plot of intraday volatility. As you can see, it is this black line is far away from the straight line, which means it is it is heavy tail. While after taking the log transformation, now the log volatility is close to a normal distribution. Or in total, these fit in the settings of our linear dynamical system. Our final state-based formulations is a standard one. Here in the here x denotes the state vector, which contains the daily component, information flow component, and unexpected components. While the y here is the observation vectors of both intraday vo log volatility and log volume. The seasonal components is taken as a constant, which we can get it by, few, by moving average. And we put it here in the, as the input of the observation. And the details of these parameters are provided in the paper. With this formulation, we have the following performance. First, we talk about the decomposition performance. We decompose the intraday volatility into several components by running the common filter and smoother. This will help you to analysis what is the composition of intraday volatility. So here, the daily component itself, it captures the average levels of daily volatility and demonstrate long-term persistence. This is so-called volatility clustering in many literature. While the seasonal components, you can see here, it is stay the same. While information flow component, it captures most intraday patterns, while the unexpected volatility, it is less informative with a relatively small magnitude. So with our framework, we are easily decompose the intraday volatility into these meaningful components. Next, we have a look at each component by performing frequency domain analysis. We perform FFT on each uh, decomposed signals. And we notice that different components correspond to volatility persistency of different type scales. For example, the daily component, it contributes to long-term persistency because it clustered in the lower full frequency domain. While information flow, it is better to capture these intraday patterns. So it is contribute to median term volatility. While unexpected component, it is almost flat. So it's, it's near white noise. So it only contribute to the short term volatility. Next, we are going to evaluate the prediction performance of our model. We perform one bin ahead prediction. One bin ahead here means at the current time, we are trying to predict the, the volatility in the next, for example, five minutes or next 15 minutes. We conduct experiments in SP500 by splitting these 500 stocks into five groups. As you can see, our proposed method consistently outperformed the other six benchmark methods, which demonstrate its efficiency in providing accurate volatility prediction. If you are interested in using this model, you can go to this R package called intraday model. We will soon support our model inside this package. Within this package, you can also visit the other package that we proposed before. Thank you for your listening. Have a good day.